Hello, and welcome to uh, September 26th, 2024. My name is Kurt, and this is my daily good life meditation. It's an exercise that I do every morning, a little bit after waking up, to remember my life objectives and principles, those which are outlined in my book, Going Alone. I also use the time to think about the last 24 hours and how I did with the challenges and the opportunities that I met. I prepare for today and I see if I'm ready for death. See if all my ducks are in a row. Okay, so I didn't do this yesterday. Yesterday was uh, too busy. Uh, I was uh, I took the day off from work in order to take my uh, dogs, and particularly my black dog, uh, Ollie, to down to San Diego to a, a special veterinarian there who has the proper... Um, certifications and uh, the proper setup with the United States Department of Agriculture to perform the final inspection before Ollie flies to Japan next week on the 2nd. So it's you need a very, you need just the right kind of vet and it turns out there's only two in San Diego and none in this area. Uh, two in San Diego that, that do it. Um, they have to have the USDA certification and they have to have the uh, electronic uh, infrastructure because what happens is this last check pre-flight check has to happen within 10 days of flight and um, it needs a vet that knows how to do it, how to fill out the forms right and to get it to the USDA in a timely manner so that they can process and get the electronic forms back. Ah, that doctor is Dr. Fife down at uh, La Costa Veterinary Clinic in um, San Diego, right there by the water. It's a really beautiful location, but far away from here out in the Anzerbrego Desert. So it was a big day yesterday, up early, taking care of everything, no time for any of this. So it took the whole day to do that. Plus I had to, after I got back in the afternoon, I had to go back to town to uh, go to Staples to print up some of the paperwork so that I have everything ready to hand over to the uh, pet shippers on um, next week. And bless the pet shippers. I couldn't imagine doing this without Starwood Pet Travel and Ryan and her team um, taking care of everything. I mean, they like reach out to the vet, they make sure the vet's aware of everything, make sure all the paperwork's in order, double check everything, organize everything. It's so worth the expense. I mean, and I was talking to the vet yesterday and they were telling me the difference between the customers that use the, such a service and those that don't and the, the level of stress for the customers that don't have the help of a pet professional pet shipper, uh, she said, is through the roof. Because, you know, you one false step and your pet's not going. So, I took care of all that yesterday. I don't think I need to go into any of the details about challenges and opportunities. It was a challenging day altogether, every, in every way. Um, rewarding day and satisfying day, indeed. Um scary really scary and then i couldn't figure out why something in me was touched um after that vet appointment that hasn't been untouched since then i still feel it right now exactly the same and i think i finally figured it out what it was this morning i was it's still dark outside but i was walking the dogs in the pre-dawn through the desert <laughs> and all I hear was sensing something in the bushes and there's been a, a mountain lion sighted and we, I just had the little tiny little pen light. And he was he was wandering off into an area that we don't usually go to off the beaten path. Uh, sometimes he follows a trail. And he's staring into the dark. And uh, something snapped out there. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> get, get. You know, it's, uh, and I immediately pictured in my mind me having this hand-to-hand -hand battle with a, a mountain lion. Well, the dogs yipped and yapped away. So even through all that, I still feel it. And what it is, this sense is, is the, uh, uh, is the realization that this is actually happening. For some reason, sending my wife and daughter to Japan didn't feel as real as sending Ollie and the black dog. And that's because, I think, I've been thinking a lot about it, it's because it's so irrevocable, if that's the right word, I mean, it could be done, but it's almost impossible. It's so complicated. And I know there, it's easier to bring a dog back to America, but it's so complicated and so expensive. Shipping animals overseas and sending 
Ollie across and then Rudy in two months. That's kind of the end. And we're not separating from our dogs. So where they go, we go. We have to make, make this work. And for me, I have a history of just not succeeding in Japan. You know, every time I go to live there, I wind up broken flat on my face. And, you know, the, the image, the ima- imagining doing that again, you know, and desiring to come back to America to climb back on my feet here, yet not being able to. I know it's irrational. Our circumstances are so different. Yeah, but th- yeah there it is. There's a little like a little process in the back of my mind running away, going, going. This is it. It's real, Kurt. You're, you, you, you're going to the back to the scene of the crime, <laughs> and you're gonna, and it's gonna. Oh well, I don't know. It feels like it's gonna happen again. <laughs> okay, so I just have to settle into this. Plus, I'm I'm also enough. Uh, there's something else that's a lot less innoc. There's a lot less. Um, what is the right word? A lot less irrational, which is I'm worried about Ollie being on an airplane or separated from me. Well, actually, the part that I'm worried about is not the 10-hour flight. He should sleep through most of that because I'm going to give him a, a dose of trazodone. Um, and I cleared that with the, with the veterinarian yesterday. It's going to be the six hours or so between the time that I hand him off to the pet shippers. And he gets on his flight at 2 a.m. on the 3rd. I hand off to the pet shippers. I'm having a meeting, a rendezvous with them in the evening of uh, the second. They'll then handle them and do what they need to do to, to get them on the plane. I worry about it being separated from me at that point. Oh, well, it's it's the deep end of the pool, right? <clears throat> okay, I think I'll just stop there and leave it at that. The roosters are crowing after all. It's time for work. I wish you all the best. Be safe, but not too safe. Take care.